David in Wesley Chapel, Florida. See more better with freeprescriptionlenses.com. But call me Mo, Mo Better, because I'm going to have you seeing Mo Better, looking Mo Better. And I'm going to also show you how I bring that loving feeling back to glasses when I cut your new prescription lenses with anti-glare for your Oakley Airdrop, the 8046 color 02 which is the black ink in the 53 eye size first let me begin by saying yes i am an authorized oakley dealer i've just been told that as a small independent optician i'm not legally allowed to put the individual frames with pictures with prices on my website you're saying seymour why is that because there's a million people on the internet doing it i know but i play by the rules so if there's a frame that you want email me call me Send me a telegram, write it down on a thousand dollar bill and mail it to me and tell me what frame you want. I will respond. Actually, I do need your email because I'll respond back uh, with the price, the availability, all that stuff, how long it will take me. But this is the Oakley Airdrop, the 8046, your hard shell Oakley case, your Oakley cleaning cloth carrying bag slash all around little black baggie whoa it's alive it's, yeah, i've got it's like a fish i've caught it i caught it comes with two little plastic sleeve on the temples to protect the temples from rubbing together during shipping and i'm gonna put that on there when i ship to you this is the black ink if i had a flashlight here we go the oakley 8046 color 02 the black ink in the 53 eye size and of course on this temple it says airdrop so let me begin. I'm going to pop out the original demo lenses. This is actually one of Oakley's best-selling frames. If you're unsure, it comes in four sizes, which could be the reason the 51, the 53 that I'm holding, 55, and then the largest, 57. That's why David contacted me. He said his doctor's office only had the 57 eye size, and it was way too big for him. Could he get it in the 53? I said, yes. Yes, you can. Let me make it happen for you. So I'm going to put the frame into the tracing element of my blocker. I'm going to program the shape into the computer. You are Secret Agent 1520. Because years from now, should you ever need new lenses, this will be programmed into the computer and I can send you just lenses only. Because this little stylus is going to go around and trace the inside bevel of the right side of the frame before doing the same thing on the left. Here at FreePrescriptionLenses.com where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed in quality. You buy a genuine, authentic Oakley frame, any model, any size, any color, and you'll receive one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses or non-prescription fashion lenses. My receipt has my federal ID tax number, so if you have vision insurance or unused health savings account flex dollars, you will get reimbursed for this purchase, whether they are prescription or not. I'm going to move on to the next screen. Your pupillary distance is 60, divided by 2 is 25. No, 30, 30, that's my final answer. I'm gonna call someone, get a right answer on that. So we're gonna move the number down to 25. No, 30, 30, we're gonna go with 30. Let's move the optical center up to 18. We're gonna go two above. Let me grab my pen out of my pocket. That's trying to squirm away too, I think that's alive. So we're gonna go two above and we're gonna cut it at 18. And so these are your lenses. Your right eye is plus 75 minus 50 at 82, plus 75 minus 50 at 82 I didn't have to go far for that pull the lens out of the protective sleeve put it in rotate well actually hang on let's put the power in there plus 75 plus 75 rotate until the spherical component comes into view raise it up to get the find the center of the lens check your astigmatism correction of which you barely have any put three dots on your lenses and you can't see that I can't even see my pen here it is my prop, my punchline, my tagline. And this is the right lens. And if you guys missed any of that, oh, that, not yet, not yet, not yet. <laughs> Almost delivered my line too quickly. Turn this to 73. I'm just in a good mood. David was going to do the glasses. He said, you know what, throw in the extra $25 for the video. And I told him, thanks for throwing me a bone. Nice guy. I told him, I wish everyone was as nice as him. Ooh, now this one is tough. Plus a quarter, minus a quarter at 73. This has very little power. So what I need to do... Hang on. There we go. There we go. Let's move everything in to where it's supposed to be. It's hard to find something that is barely there. That's what she said. No, it's... 
Hang on. Wait, is this on? Is this on? Did, did I think that or did I say it out loud? Hopefully I just thought that. Nobody heard that. Nobody heard that. This is rated PG. And, all right, so let me dot, dot, dash. Let me put a dash there. And this is, uh, put an L for left. Now, again, if you guys miss any of that, let me recap. <laughs> Oh, when the clown gets to laugh, it's a good day at work. So, all right. I can't get these out of here. This is one of these days. Let's use this tool. Reach in, grab one of these, bobbing for blocks. All right, there's one. Let's use another tool for, let's use this. Let's use this. Oh, the ink almost flew away. We grab one of these out of here. Now, I could grab one that already have the blocks on there. That would be way too easy. All right, I'm going to reach in there enough of that so this is the block or as i like to call it jenny from the block i need to attach two double-sided adhesive stickers to them of which i've got yeah as we say here in the dirty south or as i say here in the dirty south i'm gonna place the the black side is the sticky side that's why it's sticking to my fingers i do not have a magnetic personality so i have a radioactive personality pull the paper away to make the black side sticky line up the magnet on the back I'm going to take that down. That's no longer needed. One of these is a right lens. This one with the letter R on it. R. -a. I'm going to move that on there. Place the... The reason why I put those three dots on there, it tells me exactly where it's supposed to be oriented. And... Well, only if I'm going to do a good job, that is. You know, if I don't have to do a good job... Ooh, that's close. I can do whatever. So I'm going to hit that button. The block's going to come down. Place the block onto the right lens, but you know I'm going to do a good job for you. That's why I film myself. I have nothing to hide. Pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. Line that up. Same PD for that side. And make sure the lens is large enough and it does just fit. That's actually how I got started. Is that someone emailed me and said they, they were told that they couldn't get their prescription in a certain frame that it wouldn't work. And I said, not only will it... Not only can I make it work, let me show you how to do it. And that was my very first video. Because usually where I worked at before, I had patients who liked to stand next to me while I made their glasses. They would ask certain questions, the same questions over and over again. And that's how I developed my routine. Because I pretty much know if you were standing right here, right here, or right here, not here. This, this is my comfort zone. This is my safety space. But if you were here or here, I generally know what questions you would ask. Like... Would you quit drinking coffee this late in the day? <laughs> Where am I? Oh, wake the computer up. Did I already do it? 1520. 1520. These are polycarbonate lenses. If they were plastic, high-index plastic, or Trivex, I would select that. I'm not going to polish the edge of the lens because it's not going to be seen in this frame. And I generally don't do it anyway, even if it was visible. Let me take the right lens. It's already in there. It's in the chuck. I'm going to hit the green arrow, which is start. The door closes. The clamp shuts. And the lens is going to be traced by two white styluses, very stylish styluses. And it's going around tracing the shape of the right lens. And then the old carpenter saying, measure twice, cut once, is now measuring the thickness of the lens to know exactly where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing, of which you're not going to have any with your prescription in this frame. But I do cut very strong prescriptions all day long for how much? For free when you buy the frames from me. And that is a little bit more critical with stronger powers. Now the light flickering in the background is water to catch the optical sawdust, also known as schwarf. It comes off your lens. Should it ever touch down on the cutting wheel, now we're going to do it. That's me, don't worry, that's not your lens. I went to vocal school, can you tell? <laughs> so, oh, time to take the recycling out. Let me dismiss that. Comes every two weeks. If I don't set myself a reminder, I forget. So, and all those uh, five-hour energy drink bottles fill up in my recycling container that I have to wheel up to the curb. <laughs> I don't want it to overflow. You know, when those, when those five-hour energy drinks first came out, 
I didn't think I was going to like them, but I tried one and I tried another. And I think, wow, these are great. Why don't everyone drink them? These are great. They get you through the day and then you can just drink as many as you want or as little as you want. And then, whoo. Okay. All right. So, yeah, your lenses are made out of polycarbonate. They are 40% thinner and lighter than regular plastic. They are virtually unbreakable. They make this sound when they hit the counter. They make this sound when you drop them flat. But they also have 100% UVA and UVB protection built into the lens as well as a premium scratch coating. Now you get your lens, any pair of lenses for free when you buy the frame. Free will be represented by zero with a slash through it. You did pay the $44.99 to have the house anti-glare coating added to that. So water has begun spraying on the lens. It tells me it's in the last 20 seconds of the cutting cycle. In just a moment, a little lever will come out and put the safety bevel on the rear concave surface of the lens. Cue the lever. So what I'm doing is I'm going to smooth out the very back surface of the left lens, the back surface of the lens, so it's nice and smooth when I push it into the frame. Now, none of this lens will protrude. There are lenses that I do cut that come from the back of the lens and come in contact with the cheek. That's why I do it, but I also do it, as you will see in just a moment. Drum roll, please. I will now open the door with my mind. I can do other things with my mind. I can melt ice with my mind. What do I have to do? I just have to stare at it for a couple hours and concentrate, and then I can melt it. I can melt it faster in the summer than I can in the winter. It's some strange, unknown phenomenon. I, don't, I guess I just concentrate better in the summer. So. <laughs> Guys, you know, I should, I should go ahead and put my professional license on the wall here. When you know what you're doing, you can joke around and act a fool. When you have no clue what you're doing, you have to act professional. That way you can fool people that way. But uh, the reason why I put the safety bevel on the back surface of the frame, I don't want any rough edges from this lens to come in contact with the very minuscule edges of the frame, as you will see as I tuck it in. And that pops in there so easily but I don't want to, if it were too large I don't want to scratch the inner surface of the lens this is your frame I'm going to protect it with your life or my life actually I like protecting it with your life better I'd be willing to bet your life on it. I'm not gonna bet mine all right so flip that over to L the door will close the clamp will shut the lens will be traced by two very stylish styluses now it's tracing the shape of the left side of the frame and the old carpenter saying measure where to put the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness look at that you got nothing david you hear that you got no edge thickness whatsoever that costs extra you did not pay for edge thickness so you're not getting it <laughs> so let me use my hand approved drying method throw that back in there to add my sticker to the sticker collection we're going to come down here to the old trusty and dusty Marco 101 lensometer turn the fine tune knob back to 82 put it in over the black dot and I'm reading plus 75 going away from zero a quarter 50.75 one how lucky is that that I got your prescription right plus 75 you are near side excuse me excuse me far sided you can see far away better than you can up close, so you need three steps of nearsighted correction. Now, once everything is the correct size, your lens is magnified. That's why there's a plus sign. You are also known as a hyper -oak. You're also known as a really cool guy from Wesley Chapel, Florida. But for today's purposes, you will be known as a hyper -oak. Now, you are not a simple hyper -oak. That would mean you have no astigmatism correction. You are a compound hyper -oak. So you have plus here and minus here so once everything is the correct size we have to take away those fuzzy edges which that dreaded astigmatism creates so that's why sixes and eights look alike or the letters p or f but i got this for you astigmatism and i'm gonna turn that to 82 a little of the old this and that that's how we knock out astigmatism we check that second curve we end up at plus a quarter one tick mark away from zero how do we get there if you have if you were 75 cents in the black if you had 75 cents and someone borrowed 50 cents from you you would still have a quarter you ain't gonna be able to do much with that quarter but that's what you got quarter in the black now your left eye you only need one step of magnification and then only one step of astigmatism correction when it's the smallest amount it's very hard to find so that's going to be at the 73 meridian so 
think of this, this first two numbers can be real values. It tells us what the powers are. This last number could be anywhere from 0 to 180, and it just tells us where to turn that fine-tune knob. A straight line is 0 to 90 to 180, so we're going to stop just shy of the 90th meridian, the 82 for the right eye, 73 for the left. Now, David, I want you to open the door with your mind. Pretty good, David. First day on the job, and you already did it. That telepathy really works. For those of you who believe in telepathy, raise my hand. What? You got, how are you guys doing that? <laughs> oh, Guys, I heard a saying that... Uh, what is the saying? Pleasure in the work brings perfection to the job. So, so many people think they can be passionate about a, you know, about a job. They find something that they love. They can become passionate, compassionate about it. I say just the opposite. I'm tucking it in the outside corner, using my thumbs, push down the nose that snaps in there without marring those little tiny infinite edges on your frame that no one else is going to see. But I am. You want this OCD guy. What do you call a guy with two thumbs who's OCD about cutting glasses perfectly? This guy. But instead of waiting to find a job that you love, that you're passionate about, jump in and become passionate about the job you have. That way you'll be happy. Gratitude is everything in life. Let me turn that fine tune knob to 73. When I first started in this field, I was actually in sales. I never wanted to get back here in the lab and make glasses until I was in school. They taught me how. I love doing things with my hand. Fun fact, I love to garden. And I'm going to be tilling the garden this weekend, getting my seeds planted and everything. That's what I love to do and I'm passionate about. But when I started here, when I started making glasses, I found out that I enjoyed it way more than I thought. And now I don't even want to be on the sales floor anymore. I just want to be in the lab making glasses. So I created the job that I wanted. I figured out, okay, I'm going to go on the internet, get people to buy glasses for me. And originally I thought I could build a shed in my backyard right next to my garden. And I could go out there in my pajamas and cut glasses all day long. But that's not how it works. So I do have to pay for floor stays here. Here's my lab. You like that? My Oakley display with my Oakleys in there. But I can come in here and stay all hours of the night. I got keys to the shop. I can work when I want, which is hardly ever. Um, actually, the hardest thing about work is cutting the lights off and going home at the end of the day. Because when you love what you do, it is not work. It's a corny saying, but it's true. All right, so let me get back to work. If I love it so much, let me actually work. Plus a quarter, one tick mark away from zero. Plus a quarter, one step of astigmatism in the minus direction. Turn the wheel. And I'm at zero. No power. Plano. So, that's why I give away the lenses for free. There's no power in there. And, uh... Speaking of no power, I've been married for just over 11 years, so I've had no power for just over 11 years. <laughs> you know, my wife wanted a new couch, and I didn't, so we compromised and bought a new couch. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know why today's a good day. It's been a rough, it's busy, it's been hectic. I guess it's the end of the day. It's been stressful. I cannot find these record cards. When I'm done cutting glasses, I throw this into a box. I write the actual shipping number when I get the packaging, the shipping label created. I write it at the bottom, email the people. You will get a tracking number with pictures, the video, all of that, a thank you note. And then I throw this into a box. My wife comes through once a month, organizes them, gets them in alphabetical order. And I'm supposed to put them in the file cabinet, and I don't. People who just got glasses from me two months ago wants another pair, and I could not find his record card. But fortunately, he still had the email and all that stuff. I was so apologetic to him. He's been with me for years and years and years. He has referred me. I've done glasses for his little brother, his friends. And I'm so apologetic that I'm not the most organized person. I do what I do, and I do it very well. The things I don't do, yeah, I don't do very well, evidently. So... But um, anyway, let me get back to work. So, when you get these in the mail, and this purchase is tax-free, and also includes free shipping anywhere in the U.S., but I know people have to charge tax on the Internet now. I am in North Carolina. North Carolina does not charge tax on medical devices, so I will always be tax-free for you guys. This purchase is just over $200 which would be about just over 15 to $17 of tax if I were to tax him, but I ain't gonna. But when you get these in the mail, there's a small chance that these could fit too loose or too tight. However, hang on, let me check the PD. I'm getting ahead of myself. 
slow down. You move too fast, you got to make the whole day last. So when I hold up the PD stick to the left eye, dot, we're getting 60. Let me check the optical center height. Man, that kid is good. Wow, this, can't believe he did that on the first pair of glasses he's ever made in his life. But when you get these in the mail, there's a small chance that these could fit too loose or too tight. However, there's an 80% chance the one side is going to sit higher than the other. That's because 80% of people have one ear that is higher than the other. And I'm no exception. I'm part of the 80%. And I'll show you in just a moment. But because so many people have one ear higher than the other, 99% of all optical shops will do free adjustments if you ask them. But I'm going to get them in standard alignment first, also known as the three-point stance. The three points are one, two, and the bottom of the frame being three. I set them on the counter and press down. There is no wobble. Now, when I say wobble, these are my Ray-Bans. When I take them off, I press down, they wobble on the counter. Can you listen? But they sit level on me. Now I'm wearing my other frame, the Oakley 8132 Cross Range Switch, which also have what's known as the Pilot Temples. So if you can imagine a fighter pilot, that's what they were designed for. If they were in the cockpit, they could take their glasses on and off, their Ray-Ban sunglasses, without having to take their helmet off. Now, people who ride motorcycles and other things, this is still a nice thing. It has built-in wrap. It fits around the curvature of your head. But still, they can be adjusted up, down to correct for that. But yeah, mine, it's amazing how these just don't need to be adjusted. They are self-correcting. I've been in this business for 21 years. I've never seen a pair of glasses that are like that. But Oakley's are amazing where they almost need no adjustments whatsoever. But I'm still going to finish to make sure they're in standard alignment. Press down. There is no wobble. Close each temple to make sure they overlap perfectly. And they do that neither temple is askew like that. They both overlap evenly. So, let me clean these a little better. But I send out a selfie request in every pack pack package to have your picture on the website. David, I would love to have you um, your picture on there representing Wesley Chapel, Florida. You threw me a bone with the video. Throw me another bone with the selfie. But I also send out cleaning uh, instructions. Not only how to care for your frame, lenses, and case so it'll last you for years, but your Oakley cleaning cloth, the premium microfiber cleaning cloth that I provide. In fact, let me test. I'd like to test each one to make sure that it works. So when you open up your package and you see a wrinkle in your cloth, I field test every one. I don't send out any defective cloths. Plus, who has time to reach in their pocket and pull out one of these? So that's why I use a brand new one on yours. But if you've liked what you've seen and you want to see me get even stupider, Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram as FreePrescriptionLenses.com. On Twitter as FreeRxLenses. You can always email me at FreePrescriptionLenses at gmail.com. If there's an Oakley frame that you want, or you can simply click the Contact Me button on the website. Just tell me what model number, what size, what color, and I'll check the availability and the pricing. Now here's the hook. I charge the MSRP. I charge, I signed a contract with Luxottica. I have to sell the Oakleys, the Ray-Bans, the Polos, the Versaces that I have at the price they tell me to. That's why I give away the free lenses. I don't have a lab telling me what I have to charge for lenses. So that's where you're going to get the hook up. So I do charge the MSRP, but they, Oakley does not have every frame, every size, every color in stock. So I'll tell you how long it will take. Generally, it's three to five days, but if they have to ship from their overseas warehouse, it can take up to about 10 to 14 business days. So I'll let you know that in advance. I'll let you know what colors are in stock. But David in Wesley Chapel, Florida, I do thank you for the purchase of the Oakley 8046 Airdrop, the color O2, the black ink, and the 52, excuse me, 53 eye size. And everyone else has got a chance to see how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. Thank you.